Here in the city of Santee, the local government is trying to meet the needs of its residents and at the same time keep the public safety and public's health a priority. Parks, for example, here at Wood Glen Vista Park, parks are still open, giving people a place to go. People like Kalisha Hayward, a mom of three. She tells me she's trying to incorporate a trip to the park with her kids every day since she has her kids at home. She's like so many other parents who are trying to figure out a schedule, a routine for the kids. In addition to all of the schoolwork that they're doing, she says the kids need to be outside at least for a little while. She says it's tough, but she is grateful that right now the parks are open. I'm trying. I have three kids that I have very energetic they play sports throughout the year and I have to keep them you know able to still thrive and, and be happy I don't want us to get down in our spirit during this time so we're taking advantage of this outside time right now and then I'm um, developing and researching things we can do inside like I found a yoga class for them to do in the morning we're gonna do some hip-hop dance our first concern is the public safety and public health we also have to consider, though, that if people are being sequestered in their homes, that they're going to get cabin fever at some point. So we want to make sure that they have a place to go recreate. That's why the parks are open at this time. If we find out that something's going wrong or we start having some kind of issue where we get reported cases and, and whatnot, we're going to probably close them. We don't, we don't want to do that. Things are changing so rapidly, though. That's one reason why uh, we're probably, uh, maybe this week, going to oper declare our own state of emergency. And there's several reasons why we would do that. One is because it gives us a little bit more um, flexibility in how we handle business. The mayor tells me park employees will be out monitoring the parks, making sure large gatherings aren't happening, and also sanitizing the playground equipment. In Santee, Elizabeth Alvarez, KUSI News.